Okay, hello, uh, I am Meiju and this is my uh, knitting tutorial for my uh, Softly Together Mystery Knit Along Shawl. <coughs> the, uh, this tutorial is for the third clue, so in cl uh, clue 3 you will begin short rows and uh, this tutorial shows how you will work the short rows as flat as I do them in that shawl. However, this little piece uh, uses different yarn that I uh, that I uh, use in the mystery knit along shawl. This is bulgier yarn for uh, this tutorial, so you can easier see what I'm doing. I tried to make a tutorial with the with fingering and lace weight yarn that I uh, use in my second uh, shawl version, but it was impossible to see what, what is happening there. So I'm using Bulgari yarn. Uh, this little piece doesn't look like your shawl. This is the clue one, looks like this, but uh, the clue two is left out from this, this little piece, so it doesn't really look like your shawl should look but this will uh, give you an idea how how you will make uh, wrap and turn uh, short rows in clue 3. I have little uh, notes here so uh, uh, I can see and memorize what I should knit. So in this piece uh, this uh, grey yarn demonstrates yarn A and this petrol colored yarn demonstrates yarn B uh, in the mystery knitler uh, shawl also. So I will begin with color B. And um, in the end of the clue 2 you work in a way that you got the both yarns here uh, in the beginning of the right side row. So they are both working yarns are here waiting. So uh, you first slip the uh, first it first it's as if to purl with yarn in front. This is what I saw uh, already uh, show in uh, the video in which I uh, did a, tu a tutorial about the uh, first clue, clue one. Then uh, you will knit, uh, knit front back with two colors. So first loop is knit with the main color of the row, which is B. And then the second, uh, second, uh, <laughs> the, uh, no, the second leg. So the front leg of the stitch is, is uh, worked with the main color of the row and the uh, back leg of the stitch is worked with uh, the yarn, uh, second yarn, which, is, which isn't the main color of the row. So you will get one uh, uh, contrasting stitch there. But it looks pretty nice when you work it um, continuously there. Uh, it, it's easier to carry the yarn there. And then I will knit one and then do the wrap and turn. So wrap and turn uh, is made in a way that you first uh, leave the yarn on wrong side of the work. So I will have to uh, s uh, move this stitch from left needle to the right hand needle, then bring the yarn in front, then I put the stitch back to the left hand needle, and then I'm turning to work. And I'm continuing with the uh, yarn here. So I've wrapped the stitch, it's wrapped. Uh, then I will uh, knit uh, to the end of the row. Mm, 
I will repeat this in this pattern three times so the row is always worked in the beginning that you slip the uh, stitch with yarn in front then knit front back with two colors like this and then you knit uh, to the last wrap and turn uh, you have to be careful that you notice the stitch that is wrapped it's quite easy when you get used to it so it's here and then you will knit uh, the wrap together with the stitch that you have here this wrap and turn method, method um, prevents holes with short rows so you will have to uh, work this uh, wrap and stitch together in a way that this uh, wrapped loop, wrap loop, uh, uh, leaves behind uh, on the wrong side of the work. So there are two ways to do it. Either you can catch the loop and put the needle from uh, the stitch and just knit them together then you have to pull a little bit the main stitch so the wrap is left behind the work it's there on wrong side of the work uh, on uh, next row i will show you another way to do it so then you knit one and then again wrap slip the stitch from left needle to the right needle slip it back uh, bring the yarn in front, slip it back, then turn, it's wrapped, then you knit to the end, like this. Okay, and th on this row I will show you another way to work the wrap together with the stitch. So, <coughs> so knit front back with two colors, then you continue with the main color of that row. So, here we go. We uh, knit until wrap stitch and then if you want to work this wrap and this stitch together you can do it also like this you have to kind of um, uh, turn the, uh, this main stitch another way around on the needle so I've turned it that the front leg that was uh, in the front before it's now on the back. Then I will also lift this loop to the needle. And then I'm kind of knitting them together from the back loop. This is another way to knit uh, the wrap together with the loop. It's, uh, it's a way in which the uh, loop uh, uh, stays, uh, pla <laughs> is placed to the wrong side of the work much easier so you don't have to pull the front stitch that much and then knit one and wrap, wrap and turn uh, slip the stitch bring the yarn in front slip the stitch back turn the work and then knit back so <coughs> This is uh, this repeat in the mystery uh, soul is done with the color B uh, on six rows. Yo, so you will get three uh, card stitch bumps here. So one, two, three. I have six rows uh, and three wrap and turns because wrap. Uh, wrap is always done on the uh, right side of the work. Now I will continue with the color A. 
Oh, there is a three arms are a little bit mixed already. There is a way to keep those balls uh, and the yarns untangled. I should make a video on that too. But it's um, uh, easier to sew in another video than this. Okay, I will continue with the um, with uh, yarn A. So first it is slipped. Then I have this yarn A as a main color of this row. So I will knit with front back with two colors. First with the main color. Then with the con contrasting color of this row. And then I will continue with A. And then I will knit to the last wrap and turn. <coughs> Here. Here I have the wrap. I will knit it together with the stitch. Like this. Then knit one. And again wrap and turn. So. Uh, and with the color A, you will always purl the rope back. It's not knitted, it's purled. And this is the way that I purl. I've heard that this is a weird way to purl because some in Finland they first uh, Lift the yarn in front, that's not how I've used to do it. It's much more slower that way, so I will catch the yarn there and then doing my purl. <laughs> I've just learned it, learned to do it that way. Okay, then you uh, purl to the last stitch and then knit the last stitch. That's it. And that's how it should look like. Then the next row is again with the yarn B, so with petrol colored yarn. <coughs> uh, I could do that, that again, so you will see one more row, how it's done. So with the yarn B you will always knit back and yarn, uh, yarn A you will always purl the row back. So the yarn um, A leaves uh, a stockinet stitch row there. So it will start to grow and look like this. <coughs> 